Hey, I'm Nick Cathalon Gamer, and welcome back to PCM 22 Career Mode, Episode 93. We are about to wrap up the season because we are at our final race. It's Il Lombardia, and then we'll get some final tallies on how the team did, and then jump into next season, assuming we still have some time left at the end of this one. I'll try not to take too long, but we are going to get the entirety of the race. Uh, we have brought a strong team for this, and other than Gonzalez on a minus five... The team is looking quite good with plus threes or fives for everyone. We might want to actually just take one of these weaker riders like McKellar and throw him in the break just to make sure that that's not the uh, way that this race goes down. And if it does go down that way, well, then you've got a rider who's normally weak, but today with the plus five looks ridiculously good. And, you know, there's other similar support anyway. Uh, so we'll put him out there, put him on relay. We'll, we'll jump back, get these guys sorted, and then figure out quite how we want to uh, deal with him as more riders are trying to get off the front. That's 15 now. But the late, latest nine look like they're about to get pulled back. And it looks like the uh, front group here is in a little bit of danger of getting reeled in as well. And, yeah, you're seeing that some of them are immediately having to make a secondary attack as part of the group did get caught. The latest attempt pulled back a little more time, but that group now out to 40 seconds. Uh, Gonzalez, definite domestique for the day. Go ahead and protect Kronz. Kronz on a plus five. I haven't seen just how good that one looks, but... Uh, uh, that's probably going to be looking pretty dang good. Garzon. He's got a nice plus three. A lot of these guys were well prepared for the day. Garzon was not. He should have had a zero, so he lucked out on a positive race day condition. Piccioni is behind the field. We're going to have to go address that situation here shortly. He's alone behind the field. He crashed alone. Uh, he's not that far off the back. Yes, moving forward anymore? No, they're all here. Let's get uh, Garzon or Arietta. Oh, tough call. 79 Mountain, 82 stamina. The 80 stamina. It's probably Piccioni. No, they're all so good today. And it's McKellar that you would want to put on one of these guys, but McKellar's in the break. <laughs> Somebody's got to protect Martinez in that 85 Mountain. I just don't know who to who to put in that situation. 82 for Piccioni, 80 for Garzon, 79. It's got to be one of those two. It's not going to be Piccioni. In fact, maybe just both of those and Piccioni's the uh, the third man. That 82, 70, 82, 83 with the stamina. That's too good. Too good to pass up. So uh, there you go. Garzon will protect Piccioni. Gonzalez, that main domestique, as the group is now out to a healthy gap. And yeah, they're starting to back off a bit. Cioni, how you doing? Halfway up. Halfway up. 218 kilometers to go. It's a super long race. It is a lengthy one. So we will be settling in here for a bit. Keller's going to be out here for a while. Long, long while. Long day in the saddle. Five in the group. Amaral. Um, Keller, Bayer, Aaron Burrow, Strong. And they have a five-minute advantage already as we hit the first climb of the day. We'll go ahead and settle in for water somewhere shortly after 180 on the uh, kilometers remaining mark tempo's lifting a little bit here in the group they're out to six and a half minutes trying to conserve their energy and keller pushed on that little bit harder now 195 group's doing just fine even gonzalez is doing fine he'll be the main one to keep an eye on because he's gonna have very little stamina I mean, he's he's down to a 74 mountain which isn't terrible but he's down to a 62 stamina, uh, down to a 67 flat. So anything, everything is going to hurt him. Uh, so you see that start to twindle, and that's where you're going to notice. Group of three here, 
Simon Yates goes down as well. And Gregoire. Arguably two of the favorites. Chicone, Moss. Wow, Hagita. A lot of favorites. Lots and lots of them. Support coming back. Arkea in particular. Bringing back most of the team for their team leader, Gregoire. Like I said, he is on the top three or five riders. This is a star-studded field, by the way. We're, we're looking at uh, Pagatcher as the overall favorite. Bernal is here. Gregoire. You've got Vlasov, Moss. I mean, it's action-packed group. I'm going to wait for them to get back up there uh, to get water because I'm going to have Gonzalez be the one to do it. So these guys should make contact soon enough, you would think. And as soon as they hit the back end, Gonzalez can grab water and then just bring it forward. They are not gaining at a very rapid rate, though. In fact, they're not really gaining at all. They're being awfully casual about this. Gap's still holding it two and a half minutes. Uh, I might have to just send somebody else to get water in the meantime. Let's do that, Garzon. Gonzalez, grab your own water. Gap's 2.30. It's five seconds more than it was. 15 seconds more than it was. The gap's going out. This many favorites way back here. Are they waiting for the climb, knowing that they're stronger climbers? Couldn't tell you what the motivation is, but whatever the case may be, Piccioni is not the guy we need to be protecting right now. We'll switch off and let Piccioni ride alone. Meanwhile, McKellar, those things looking up here. Back off just a little bit as we climb. The effort lifts, but four minutes is the gap. I'm not worried about this group trying to win. This is entirely about if. If the group were to be in position to win, we want to make sure we actually have somebody. I'd still rather have him back in the group. But Gonzalez struggling. They're putting forth some effort. Group has split up a little bit. Somebody attacked and bridged the gap. And finally, they make contact. And we've got a big climb coming. Gonzalez needs to get back up here awfully soon. Uh, put him on protect. Look, the pack has taken its foot off the gas. The team leaders can't be too worried about the breakaway. Now at 144k to go after this climb, we're going to need to get water once again. That'll be the second of the three times we need to do that today. Pace-wise, I think we're doing okay on this one. We're already on the climb. Climb is 11 kilometers. Average is 6%. Just under 1,000 meters. So just under one kilometer worth of height difference from the base to the top. That's pretty mega. Back out to five minutes, by the way. And down to 133 kilometers remaining in this race. Not sure we want to get it on the descent. Or do we want to wait for that minor climb and get it at the base of that one? That might be a little bit easier of a time to do so. 125k to go. In McKellar's case, it's easy enough. He can can just get it but he's leading the group at the moment you don't want to slow the pace of the group we're halfway to the finish line the team leaders should be coming more and more to the fore even gonzalez is still okay the is not as the group the has already gone the over the top and it is descending he will also recover but his maximum is already starting to take a hit and with that low stamina that maximum is going to get hit really hard 115k as you approach the climb the water is going to be just enough to get us over the top with the amount of climbing you have left. Delaying that little bit further is useful. Okay, pace. Finally, pick it up in this group. As McKellar is very, very fresh, we might as well you know, continue to work, not just fall back. Again, as we have all the potential to, to win from this group, if this group were to stay away. So if they want to work harder and try to stay away... I'm all for it. 
Gonzalez starting to fade. Group is making an effort on this climb for sure. Not making it an easy one. Okay, right at the top. That's the third climb of five plus a couple minor climbs, including one just before the finish line. So we're about halfway through this thing, but the next the next one's a big one. Well, the next two both really are big ones because they're happening at a later stage in the race. Uh, let's go ahead and get that water. Gonzalez, it's not good for him, but it's good for the team if he's the one to go back and do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another crash. Sorry. Camera. Camera. Okay. There we go. McKellar is the one who goes down. Well, that's going to rule him out of the group. We're going to let him come back to the peloton now. He is back up. Sitting. Resting. Sheffield. And others involved in a wreck themselves. We're not going to bother with McKellar trying to catch that front group. He's two minutes behind. By the time he got up, he's already two minutes behind. Not worth the energy to uh, try to stay away. So a 139 is totally fine. 139 heart rate, that is. So he's not putting in any substantial effort right now. And just cruising along until he is uh, swept up by the group. Because right now we don't need him. Gonzalez at some stage will exhaust himself and be out the back and then McKellar will take over his role yeah look at the heart rates look at the heart rates riding hard before the climb too the Decena this one is over a kilometer worth of climbing similar length at 11.7 .7. the actual percent though overall is a little bit less at 5.8 Okay, McKellar is back in the group. We're going to have him follow Piccioni for now, as we know that uh, Gonzalez isn't going to last long, and uh, that's the replacement. Now, these guys up the effort a little bit, as we've got to get through this thing unscathed. Don't want to be dropping back too far. Piccioni, though, don't want to be pushing that hard. Back off to an 80. Gonzalez. Gonzalez is still here. Now he's fading, so McKellar, go ahead and take over. Gonzalez, we'll see you later, buddy. Have a nice remainder of your day. 81k to go. Water one more time. Maybe up on the uh, plateau on top or during the descent. We'll take care of that, but that's going to be a dangerous descent. Already most of the way up. It's taking its toll on the riders, but it's not dividing the field at all. One more rider off the front group has been dropped. Of course, this time it was dropped on merit, not on dropping to the dropping to the surface and, and landing on it and scraping yourself up. Dropped on can't climb with the rest. Second rider is dropped. So down to just two in the front group. They are weaker and weaker. So even though, yes, there's still a decent gap there, it's, it's coming down and they don't stand a chance. Recovery should still be a decent amount. Gonzalez was dropped. 114 in the peloton. Two left off the front. Both individuals. One more climb here before we're actually done with this overall climb. But the descent is bigger than everything else. 64k to go. And two descents, which means water can happen any time here. Garzon, McKellar, and that's an attack. That's an attack not from small guys. Yeah, that's Gregoire, that's Vingegaard, that's Pagacher. Uh, we have Firepower and McKellar to uh, chase that. Ocha Brooks also attacking. Armorale, who was in the group with McKellar not long ago. Serving our energy. We'll hit the top even though they drift back a little bit as McKellar chases. That group pulled a minute very, very quickly. Uh, but you can see that McKellar is already keeping it under control a bit, down to 50 seconds. Peloton split a bit there, down to 84. That acceleration from McKellar 
keep those guys in check. It's going to take uh, a lot out of them. Now we're going to put it on our domestiques to do the chase here. Shoot, we needed water though. Uh, let's get Garzone to take care of that. A rider has just climbed into the support vehicle. His race is Split the peloton, that's good for Garzone in the water. Yeah, there you go, hand up. Down to 42 riders, we split off half of the peloton here. And that's going to be very good for the uh, prospect of chasing those guys down. And we pulled them back. They've been pulled back. All right, McKellar. Uh, Garzone's going to get water and be done. There we go. Let's go back to protecting Piccioni. As this has all been pulled back, so other teams are working hard, riding hard. Let them. Let them do the dirty work. Okay, pushing up to 83s. Position now matters. 48 riders chasing two. The last two off front. Homos, Bayer. Those two came back together. And here we go. Into the climb that's going to mostly decide this. Though the race will not be done quite yet at that point. With 48 left. I'm liking things. I'm liking our chances here. Okay. 9.3k. Paso de Ganda. 1k worth of climbing. So it's like the other two. But we're doing it in two kilometers less, which puts it at 7%. Definitely steeper, definitely harder, and the tempo is going to be much higher. I'm not going to do it yet, but we're going to go 85, 85, 85, and in maybe a kilometer or two, I want to train up. There's only 49 riders here, so that means there's, there's not much support. Breakaway has been caught. We're down to 50, or up to 50, but no longer a break. Holding our position well. Piccioni is a little bit back of where you want him to be, but he's just about hanging in there. He needs to pull that up, though, because he's going to have to uh, be in the middle of this. And I think we're far enough in. We are far enough in. So here we go. We have strength. We have positive race day conditions. We have every reason to be aggressive and go for it and not just sit back and wait for somebody with crazy speed like Pagatcher to go win this thing. We're not looking for a top 10. We're looking to win. Garzon to the front. He's already got the red bar. Here they come on the next attack too. Almeida, Champasin. Garzon's already used up his Red Bull, so let's give him a little 99. Gregoire, let these guys do their little attack. McKellar. We already negate all but those front two of that. And Garzone riding well. And gets us roughly halfway up. Okay, on to McKellar. Garzone, good job there. He, he got us quite some distance. McKellar didn't have much left in the tank. Oh, next, next attack. And I, I let about 100 meters go there with the exhaustion part, but... Uh, we negate the attack, we go to the front, and now here comes that pressure, and here comes the steepest sector. Splitting off the field. McKellar's done, he's out the back. Down to 34 riders. Arietta, 99. Picciotti's going to take over here shortly. Thirty riders left. Arietta. Okay, he's done. Break toe real quick if you can. Down to 28. Almost to the top. Okay, we'll have three guys left for the uh, remainder of this. We're going to have to accept that this is where we're at. 24 left. Are you at among those who just got dropped? Did I already put him on auto? I did. With him is Storer, Hidley, Hagita. Carapaz, we're shattering the group right now. 20 riders, these guys were just barely hanging on over the top. Come on, this is not the Peloton. That's not the Peloton, those guys are gapped. They should be dropped here. Piccioni, going hard here. Now we gap them, 15. Piccioni again, pushing hard. 14. 
Pidgeotti's out, but we're about to do the descent, the final descent, so let him lead out the descent so that Martinez and Kronz can handle the bottom. Better sprinter is Martinez. Martinez is the better sprinter. What about Descender? Kronz. The, the finish line off. involves a descent. Just about. Boy, how do you play that one? <laughs> Two guys very similar to each other. I guess you'd go with the plus five. Stick with what the plan was here. Piccioni has recovered a fair bit, which means he's going to help lead over the the descent, and nobody's catching us with Piccioni pushing full full gas. Hopefully he and his teammates can keep it up, right? And if anybody's going to crash, it's going to be another team because Piccioni is going 99 here. Piccioni doesn't have enough gas to just suddenly attack and distance everyone. Somehow we're back up to 15 riders. Peccioni's 76 descent was not good enough to uh, keep separation at a 99 effort. Dang. All right, well, we reached the bottom. Whoever caught back up certainly isn't going to have much energy. As they would have been pushing full gas to do so, obviously. Only 15 kilometers left. Now it's at 16. Peccioni. That was not a good descent, buddy. Not a good descent at all. 13K. Onto the flat. Piccioni pushing on. Keeping these guys under pressure, but you know a lot of them recovered on that descent. And here comes those attacks again. But that's good. That's going to waste the energy. And meanwhile, Piccioni's just kind of cruising along. Now that he's done, it's going to be on to Martinez, but I mean, look how much effort is being wasted by the rest of the group where Piccioni just casually rode along the way and Martinez and Kronz are like, yeah, no problem. No problem. Here I am. 8K to go. Again, they're attacking, so these guys are going to be very low on red bar as we approach the final very short climb. Very short steep climb with a ridiculously short cobbled sector here. That even gets noted in the uh, in the book. All right, here we go. 99. There it is. Martinez sprinting. Okay, Kronz. Go, 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 Kronz. Go, Kronz. There you go. Through the cobbled sector, which is definitely not our strong suit. Working his way forward. Two guys have gone clear, but Kronz is about fourth wheel, fifth wheel, with Gregoire right beside him. Ayuso ahead, Tiberi, and of course Pagatcher. He's already sprinting. I mean, he's sprinting as best he can. Oh, beautiful move there as, as Pagatcher sits up for a second. Kronz is not a good enough sprinter. He's not going to win, but he is going to get himself a podium, I think. Looks like he's going to hang on. Ayuso gets gets him on the line, but Kronz does hang on, gets a podium. Greg Wire, after his crash early on, good recovery on that part to get the win, but he, he recovered in plenty of time. Ayuso, faster than Kronz. That was a beautiful fake from Pagatcher, though, in the, no, 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 you're not going to follow me. And I was like, oh, hell yes. We charged through, and that was the perfect opportunity otherwise no podium possible. Absolutely no chance that he's getting that podium. Martinez, meanwhile, gets 10th place. Piccioni gets 26th. Arietta gets 19th. Good team result. Podium here at Il Lombardia. It's not a win. Win would have been nice. But with that group that we had at the end and all of them being stronger sprinters, you know that we're not going to come away with it there. But hey, podium is excellent. We've got a few minutes left here to wrap things up for the season. Let's start with the closing of the transfer market with Gregoire moving to Bahrain. Victorious Koish moving to Arkea Samsic to take over his spot, though very much a different spot when you look at the profile of the two. Moss moving to Trinity. Van Art going to Jumbo Visma. Vanderpool going to Movistar. Uh, Ayuso going to EF Education first. Easy post. 
uh, McNulty to Lada Sudal Gadu to Jumbo Visma Lopez to Lytle and Germay to uh, Bahrain Victorious. And of course, the biggest transfer, Kronz to uh, UAE Team Emirates. Nominations, top 10 nominated riders for Rider of the Year. Kronz, Peters, both making the list. Ruggeri, Moss, Vanderpool, Pagacher, Simmons, Rodriguez, Ayuso, and Johannesson. The individual time trial at the World Championships went to Kwiatkowski. Big win for him over Pagacher and Ayuso. And then for the road race, Matthew Vanderpool has come away the world champion ahead of Stuyven and Vermeersch. Final index brings us in at eighth. That's actually the best I think we've had in the index. It's our first time cracking the, the top 10. So we are more and more comfortable as a world tour team in terms of the actual comparison. Not necessarily, you know, the on paper part not necessarily the results we get as we always exceed whatever you know our our status is our stature but Ineos is the best team heading into next season final rankings Kronz was second behind Pogacar he overtook uh, Moss with that performance in Illa Mardia Ayuso uh, jumps to fourth with his performance there Simmons fifth Johannesson uh, Rodriguez Peters stays in the top 10 eighth place is all though uh, not really scoring points down the stretch as he's a classics rider, but Van Art gets ninth and Hindley wraps up the top 10. Martinez comes in at 12th and Mickles at 18th in the world tour rankings. Continental Mazzato is the uh, best and in the super prestige Van Art all the way up in P2 where Kronz is third, Peter seventh, Martinez 15th, Vandenberg 19th, Arietta 26th, Mickles 27th, Gonzalez 33rd, we are all over the scoring. Even Vermark up in 56th and McKellar 69th. Strong, strong team performances. Individual victories. Jamie Rodriguez with nine victories from our U23 squad. Uh, was definitely one of the guys I was looking at, but just doesn't have enough ceiling to, to get much better. He's good now for the age group, but he's just not going to be good enough later on. As a team... We were number one in the World Tour rankings ahead of Jumbo Visma and Ineos, the three of us, far exceeding anything anybody else did. Not quite doubling up on the fourth, fifth place teams, but yes, doubling up and then some on sixth and below. Continental was led by B&B, and in the Super Prestige, we have come out on top. We were number one team in the land this year, by quite some margin with a 1300 or over 1200 point advantage over Jumbo Visma. But here is the thing. We're, we're not done. We're not done yet. We might have won a Jersey at all three grand tours where we're not winning monuments. We're not dominating. We, we won one grand tour. Yes, we took three jerseys, but it was a green Jersey. It was a white Jersey at two of those races. We, got on the podium we had an excellent la vuelta but it wasn't to win eventually i would like to win all three grand tours doesn't matter if it's different guys should be different guys based on the the way they've done stamina resistance and and recovery this year i want to be winning monuments we want to be competing for everything i don't want to go out and literally win every race that's ridiculous but my scaling my scoring for those who follow what I've ever done with the uh, gaming decathlon for this game to get the thousand point score I need a 10,000 point score here my final season tally you just drop the last digits divide by 10 so 841 so we got an 841 this year that's a great score it's not a perfect score so we are definitely not done yet I know we've dropped to the twice weekly because of the new series, the Dragons series. If you have not checked that out yet, please take a moment and hop over. The comments have been overwhelmingly positive. Thank you so much for those of you that have already been over there and seen that. The the like ratio is near perfect. It's an almost 100% like ratio. You know, they don't show that anymore. They used to show that pretty regularly, but the like rate, as in how many people 
view the video and then how many of them actually drop down and click the like button phenomenal just phenomenal stuff uh, let's hope that the youtube algorithm finally does something and that it's not just those of you that are already here watching episode 93 of my career mode series also watching that series and those who may have not quite gotten caught up to episode 93 by now you know maybe they're 40 episodes in 50 episodes in but long-term channel supporters channel subscribers watching it that's what i tend to get getting new viewership that's what the algorithm's for and the like rate the comment rate it all should should feed into that being a very very positive series let's hope it is and of course right now is a good time to be starting it as the cycling season is just getting underway that's going to do it for this episode and this season though let's check in on the wins the u23s took 21 wins and the senior team took 34 this year that's that's great that is great it's not the top though work still to be done we are heading on to a new season though without Kronz, so we'll have to adjust to life without him of course we still have martinez and we've got more up and coming young strong riders i'm the Catholic gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button and i'll see you next time have a good one. Be safe out there and bye for now.